Hey guys, it's Evie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a small YouTuber Q&A. I asked on my Instagram for some questions for this video and I got over 80 responses. So I just want to say thank you so, so much to anyone who left a response. It obviously helped me when planning this video because I needed as many questions as possible. So I've written all the questions I liked in this notebook. I've been asked so many questions about being a small YouTuber and I think you'll get to know me a lot more in this video. So if you do like this video, remember to subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And now I've said all that, let's get on with the rest of the video. So I started a YouTube channel because I've always loved filming videos since I was really little. I've had so many different YouTube channels and Instagram accounts for like gymnastics and makeup. So I think I just love filming them. It's also great because you get to meet new people and you get to be really creative with it. So I restarted this channel in May of 2020. I did have this channel before in 2019, but I didn't post on it for over a year. So I'd say I properly started this channel in May. So I think I definitely take inspiration from other small YouTubers and see what they're creating and see if their audience are liking it. And if they are, I try and put my own spin on it and kind of create the video that I think my audience will like. My favorite thing about being a small YouTuber is obviously filming and editing videos, but I love seeing that people actually enjoy my videos and want to watch them because it's kind of crazy that people actually take the time to watch my videos. I also really enjoy seeing a video do well of mine when I put so much hard work into it because you know that you've created something good that people actually want to watch. And my least favorite thing about being a small YouTuber is pretty much the opposite when you spend so much hard work and time on a video and it doesn't do as well as you would have hoped and it's just a bit disappointing, but you just have to remember that you're not gonna get any further if you just stop, so you just need to keep going. So that's what I try and tell myself when a video doesn't do as well. So I edit on my iPhone, which is a iPhone SE generation 2020. So I either make my animated overlays if it's something that I can't find anywhere and is quite unique to the video I'm filming. Like my bullet journal setup videos, I always make them myself because I don't think many people would have made them on the internet before. And I also make all the text overlays you see on screen. But if there's a really complicated overlay, which I don't know how to make, and it will take me quite a while to try and figure out how to make it, I just search on YouTube the overlay I want and then put green screen after it. And most of the time it does come up. You just have to remember to give credit to the original person who made it as they would have spent a long time making it so if you put credit in the description box of your video I'm sure they'll be happy to let you use it so I use tags in all my videos and it's definitely helped me so so much I think only in the last five months I've learned how to use tags and what they are and learned more about them and I actually recently in the last few weeks downloaded TubeBuddy TubeBuddy is a really good app for helping you with your YouTube videos and learning how to rank in search so I paid for the mobile subscription version which I think is $1.99 a month I'm not entirely sure but I think that's what it is and it actually suggests tags I should use in my videos so yeah I use the mobile version of TubeBuddy for my tags and it's definitely helped me so far so I think this question is really good because I think most youtubers would say yes it's obviously hard when you see other people growing a lot faster than you and I definitely feel discouraged sometimes when for example you post the same video and yours doesn't do as well or you're just putting a lot of hard work into your videos and you're not really seeing your channel grow but I just try and remember firstly the reason why you started and you didn't start just to gain subscribers and gain followers you started because you enjoyed doing YouTube so I really try and remember that and also they might have started a while before you so it's hard to catch up with someone when they started six months before you so it's not a competition as well you're all trying to help and support each other so yeah I just try and remember that but of course sometimes everyone feels discouraged when people are growing quicker so I think this really depends on the video if I'm filming a sit down video like this it normally takes me about half an hour because I stumble on my words a lot so I think I think this but if it's a vlog it obviously takes however long I'm filming the vlog for so like my weekend vlog it took me the whole weekend but if it's a day vlog it just took me the whole day
So pretty much all my close family know about my channel. They're probably watching this video because they like to watch my videos. And mostly all of my close friends know about my channel and they follow my YouTube Instagram. And I don't mind them knowing at all because it's just like having a hobby like dance or gymnastics. It's just another hobby. And I obviously don't mind telling my friends because if they're my friends, they're not going to make fun of me. They're going to support me. And if they was to make fun of me, they wouldn't be my friend. So yeah, I don't mind telling my friends at all. So my YouTube goal for the end of the year is 500 subscribers but I think definitely in the future I want to hit 1000 subscribers at some point. Hitting 1000 subscribers has been one of my goals for so so long since I started my first ever YouTube channel back when I was about 11 so that would just be amazing to hit that at some point. I'm 15 but I'm going to be turning 16 in April. So thank you firstly for saying this, it's really kind. I recently started a new Instagram feed and I've definitely seen more people want to follow my account from it. So I bought a pack of presets from Consistency and they definitely helped my Instagram so, so much. I feel like having an aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed just makes people want to follow you more. I've definitely enjoyed taking Instagram photos more while having a nice theme that I'm trying to stick to. So I use my tripod and ring light which I got for Christmas which is from Amazon and then I use my iPhone SE generation 2020 and that is everything I use. I really like the setup I have going at the minute, I just like filming against this plain wall that I have in my room. I think my favourite video on my channel is my weekend vlog I recently uploaded as I really enjoyed filming the video and it just being a more relaxed video instead of me sitting down and filming one and it was also a collab with one of my internet best friends so I really enjoyed doing that collab. My parents are really supportive of my channel, they watch my videos and my mum helps me come up with some video ideas and they both subscribe so yeah they're really supportive of my channel. I definitely enjoy editing more because I feel like if the filming process doesn't go that well then when you go to the editing you can try and make it really good and make it more creative and just try and make the video a bit better with the editing. And I really just love being creative with my editing and trying out new styles of editing and yeah I just find it a lot more fun. The video on my channel which I'm most proud of is my week in the life of a content creator because I feel like it was the start of me kind of redoing my channel and being a lot more creative with my videos and really improving my video editing as well. So I'd say I'm most proud of that video and it also took me so so long to edit it and the finished result of the video I was really happy with and yeah a lot of you guys seem to like that video as well. So I'm going to say my top three small YouTubers I'd love to collab with. So firstly, I'd love to collab with Grace because her video ideas are so creative and her editing is just amazing. So yeah, I'd love to collab with Grace. I'd also love to collab with one of my friends, Sienna, because her videos are so good. She's so, so supportive of my channel and her videos are so good and also her thumbnails are just amazing. So yeah, I'd love to collab with her. And then lastly, I'm going to say four people because I'd either love to collab with Heather or Gracie because they both seem so, so nice and I know they're really good friends so I'd love to collab with either one of those. So the person that wrote this said I was their favourite small YouTuber which is so so nice so thank you so much I really really appreciate it. I don't really have a favourite small YouTuber but I think I just really enjoy watching all my friends videos because I just love supporting their channels so I'd say all my friends who have YouTube channels I really love supporting their content. So this is the last question and I think it's really important because it's sometimes really hard to motivate yourself to film when you need to get a video up for that week but you're not really feeling like filming a video. So I just say one, don't force yourself to film because otherwise the video won't turn out great anyway and you won't enjoy filming it. And then I'd say also make a plan of what you're going to film because then hopefully that should motivate you to try and film it. If you plan the video out you might start to think of different ideas and ways to become creative with the video and that will motivate you to want to film it and upload a video for your audience so yeah that is the end of today's video again thank you so so much to anyone who left a question so i really hope you guys enjoyed this small youtuber q a if you want me to do just a normal q a video then do let me know in the comments and i'll see you next saturday at 5 p.m for another video bye guys